Hello, I received an update to my uh, Galaxy Tab 2 10.1 yesterday. That would be August 26, 2013. And I apologize for my uh, camera and tablet uh, display it was cracked just the day before yesterday when it fell off the roof of my car onto the highway. And I was able to recover it and it still uh, starts up and everything. And it received the update just fine. Um, and I have a new uh, glass coming in a couple weeks, but I wanted to uh, show a couple of things on the new operating system that was uh, installed uh, yesterday. So this is uh, Android version uh, 4.2.2. And a couple of things different is that you have these uh, icons at the top now when you drag down. You have a Wi-Fi, GPS, sound, screen rotation, Bluetooth, block-in mode, power saving mode, drive-in mode, smart stay, sync, and airplane mode. Then this is the display brightness. You can set for auto brightness. And down below this, you have like uh, the different text things of what's um, you know messages you know messages basically that the operating system gives you that let you know what's going on. And I'm not sure if I'm describing that correctly, but that's how I, I look at it. And so you have a clock up here, uh, the date, and then you can click on settings here. You can access it you know, from different areas. And uh, so we'll bring that up. In enter settings, we have Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, data usage, then more settings. Blocking mode, I don't, I don't know what that's for yet. Driving mode, I'm not sure. I think driving mode is that the device will uh, talk to you uh, of the information that's coming up on your screen. Then there's sound, display, storage, power saving mode, battery, application manager, location services, lock screen, security, managing input, cloud, backup reset, chat on, oh, I guess these are just accounts I have set up already. Uh, we've got a about device. And it's kind of, it's hard to see because the screen was cracked. It's pretty pretty messed up, and I do again apologize for that. And that's why I'm kind of reading what I see from my angle. It's easier for me to read than for you to look at. Uh, I have the model GT P5113 device. Android version again is 4.2.2. Kernel version 3.0.31-12618. Nine seven. It was dated, uh, of course, August fourteen. And the build number is a uh, JDQ thirty nine dot P five one one three U E U C M H two. And just, just, I'm looking to see if there's any more information now. When the device was uh, going through the update. It seemed to install a few new applications that I haven't seen before. And um, let me go ahead and bring those up. Now, the app uh, thing used to be on top, and now it's at the bottom. And under that, we have uh, Samsung Link. I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, Smart Remote was as an updated version of it. Video editor, and you got. Let's see what else is new. Okay. I think everything on this page looks like I already had. Um, try this other page. Uh, the calculator's been upgraded, a little bit nicer display. You can zoom in and make it larger. So that's pretty cool. Uh, group a uh, group play is something that's new that I haven't seen before. That's if you want to connect. Uh, if you're in a room with other people that with Samsung devices, you can share photos and other things 
via Wi-Fi. So you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network to be able to share the information. It's not like from over the internet. It looks like it's through the Wi-Fi that's in the same room. You want to like share a picture. You can transfer it right to their device through the group play. Uh, G plus photos. Uh, it's kind of like gallery. It looks about the same. Uh, the camera has the same function as the 4.11. I didn't see anything different about camera. And uh, paper artist, uh, that's something new that showed up. And uh, because my device screen got broken, the camera is kind of hard for it to see through the cracked screen. But it looks like um, a camera application that makes everything kind of look like paper. So it's, it's pretty, pretty, you know, fun to play with, and but I couldn't get a whole lot done with it because of the cracked screen. And in a couple of weeks, I'll probably go ahead and do another video so you can actually see it better. I know it's pretty well impossible to really see everything. Um, so I'm trying my best to describe it. Uh, the widgets I haven't even looked at yet. Let's take a look at right now and see what we have that's different. Now, I notice that the buttons are bigger up here, apps and widgets. The tabs look like they're larger uh, to click on. And uh, I will look to see if there's anything different than, different than what I'm used to looking at. It looks uh, close to the same thing. I know it's awesome when you're playing a uh, music file. There's a little player that shows up on the left top corner that allows you to uh, pause the the music and and your emails are similar to where uh, when you read your emails also you can have them bring up in a little tab. It's, now the um, it used to be that the, this middle area was brought up the applications at the bottom. Now that was moved to the right side and there's an edit uh, button there. And I'm not sure if, if they have this uh, this uh, arrow here, this makes the whole screen the world clock and uh, kind of blows it up. Right. So, uh, so I have this app running here and I got the task manager running at the same time. So I got both apps open. Then uh, here I can decide whether I, I can end each program or I can just uh, click on what I want. And I, it seems like the, I don't know if it's just all in my head, but it seems like the speaker might be a little bit louder than before. I haven't played with everything yet. I, again, I just got this the other day, and I haven't really been using my tablet a whole lot since I cracked the screen. And uh, so that this part, uh, moving the things around looks about the same. I don't really see much of any difference there. It seems uh, the operating system is faster, more responsive. And let's see what else I can show you. Um, everything else looks about the same. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get a better picture of this. This is the part that's really, let me turn that overhead light off. Let that focus a little bit. Now you can see the icons a lot better. So this is how it looks like from the desktop. Pretty well the standard look. They just moved some things around a little bit. And you drag this up down and uh, see if I can get that to focus. There you can kind of see it where you have the, the square icons here across the top here. It used to be that you had them like over in the corner here that you can turn off on your Wi-Fi now. It's just these big blocks. Uh, let's see how it looks like when port in this mode here. It's just the same thing, just uh, 
squeeze together then you can kind of slide left to right looks like it's kind of hard to see very hard to see there get a little bit of focus my cam is like 20 years old it seems like so I don't use it a cam normally on my desktop computer and don't have a need to buy another one other than to show this video that so I, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, you know, I'm sure I forgot probably a ton of things to mention about this new operating system I just got yesterday. And I'm glad that uh, they finally updated it. Oh, the one thing I noticed, and I don't know if the old one has, is the keyboard is capable of saving like credit card numbers. And I, and I didn't know that if that was available before or not. But this new keyboard has a capability of recording information uh, like a like a lockbox. So you can uh, bring up uh, information like like I said, like credit card numbers and driver license numbers and things like that. So that's that's something I, I don't remember seeing before, and it seems new to me. So. Uh, Again, if uh, if you have any specific questions and want me to look up something, just uh, put a message on it, my YouTube there, and I will go back and, uh, and leave a note on on YouTube of any questions you might have. And I again, I do apologize for the poor uh, video uh, and my broken glass there. I'm waiting for one. I have one on, on order. I was supposed to get, like I said, about a couple of weeks from China. Um, I'm going to put the new glass on there so it look, looks like new again, hopefully, if I don't you know, mess it all up. And uh, I hope that helps. Yeah, have a nice day. Talk to you later. Bye.